right, so you guys are getting another treat. We're getting another ranty movie review because I feel like you guys love those so much. You know, like back when I yelled about Jurassic World a lot. But uh, today we're gonna be talking about Sierra Burgess is a loser. And my God, is she actually? That, I know that's really harsh to say in the title, a little bit harsh, but it was just, it was way too good to pass up. So the other day I was doing some research for one of the videos I'm doing for my second channel. I needed to watch a couple clips from Pulp Fiction because I'm working on an Inglorious Bastards video. But before I could actually start looking up Pulp Fiction, this Sierra Burgess is a loser trailer started playing, letting me know that, hey, this is a new Netflix original that is available. And I remember, I remember hearing about that movie right around the time that Insatiable's advertisements were coming out because everybody was freaking out about Insatiable being really damaging to, to female self-esteem and body positivity. And then like immediately after the Sierra Burgess trailer came out and everyone was like, yes, yes, this is exactly what we've been needing. This is a girl who's not scared to be herself, except the entire movie is about her being a catfish. We have a lot in common. <laughs> I like the same stuff. As if to say, yes, it's okay for you to lie to other people about who you are because people just judge looks. If that was a guy doing it, they'd be called a creep, a really creepy, disgusting person. But in this situation, it's fighting stereotypes or something. Now just to give you guys a quick rundown if you're completely confused as to what the story in this might be, basically, bitchy girl gives a guy that approaches her for her number this chick, Sierra Burge's number. So when this guy starts texting her, she just kind of goes along with it. And then she realizes who this guy thinks she is, realizes it is the hot bitchy cheerleader. And instead of coming clean or just stop talking to him, which she probably should have done in the first place, she enlists this person's help in exchange for tutoring, but not tutoring to make her do better in school, tutoring to make her seem smarter to the guy that she's dating. Sure. And this chick actually goes along with, you know, helping her with her, with her scam. Anytime they need to show her face, they use this girl. But Sierra's the one controlling the voice and, and all the texting and everything. Like, clearly there's no way this ever could have gone wrong. So I won't get into the spoilers of the ending until later in the video because I don't, I don't know why anybody would want to watch this anyways. But, you know, just to be fair, I'll tell you what happens at the end at the end of this video. Now beyond the glaring issue of trying to make a catfish a good person, um, she's not really a likable character, like at all. Now if it had kept it at like the basic catfishing, texting, it, it wouldn't have been the worst, like, you know, stuff like that's been done before. But when you go into the realm of, we're gonna set you up on a date with him and you gotta pretend to be me. And then when he wants a kiss, we're gonna close his eyes and I'm gonna kiss him, but he's gonna think he's kissing you. That is actually disgusting and non-consensual and really gross. And I would love to see what people's reaction would have been if it had been reversed. But I, I'm gonna say that luckily when I looked it up on Twitter, there were a lot of other people very angry about it too. And it was a lot of girls and it was a lot of guys. And, and, and that makes me thankful. That makes me kind of like thankful for the world out there that there are people who don't look at these things with double standards. And if you're gonna hold one person accountable for that kind of behavior, you gotta, you gotta hold the other person accountable. Cause my God, that scene, was right up there with the friggin' like Jake Paul, Logan Paul's dad kissing that girl. Like that, it was, it's like that. Oh. And then this. But uh, yeah, she's like a not, not at all a likable character. On top of just the regular catfishing and the non-consensual kiss and the really just bad character in general, um, she pretends to be deaf at one point because like they run into him playing football with his little brother and she pretends that she's deaf, which would be bad enough if you didn't take into account that the little brother that he's currently playing football with is also deaf. Bold move. Bold move. Like, I, I, I just don't know what the writers were thinking. Like, why? Why did they think that would be a good idea? Oh, and the best part about that is that after she pretended to be deaf, she walked away with her friend saying, we, we had a moment. She thought that they had had a moment when she was pretending to be deaf and a different person and not the person that he'd been texting the entire time. 
she's legitimately delusional. If you, if you told this from the other side, she would be the crazy stalker person. Like literally the only two people that are good in this story are the dude, Noah, and the bitchy chick, Veronica. And, and honestly, at the beginning, yeah, the way she was treating Sierra was terrible. That was not a good way to treat somebody. Nobody's gonna try to excuse her behavior. But they at least do a really good job explaining why she's so standoffish and why she cares about her appearance so much. Her mother is literally like the most horrendous person in the world, is super fixated on her putting her like sexuality and relationships and finding a good guy ahead of literally everything else. Two little sisters that are a nightmare. Like I can very much understand why this is, this would be the type of person who would have a very hard exterior shell. And that doesn't, doesn't excuse the bullying. I'm just saying that they at least redeemed her character. Somehow the person that was supposed to be the flat out bitch was a great person by the end and she got no justice. And once the two start hanging out, she's so nice to Sierra. She does, like literally, she, she goes along with this crazy ass nine plan. So then later on, when, when the guy ends up kissing Veronica, because again, he thinks that it's her that he's been talking to. So of course he's gonna try to make a move on her. And they do the thing where of course, like it, before she has a chance to like pull away really quickly, Sierra catches them through the window and sees it. And instead of like waiting to try to talk to Veronica or at least just doing the thing where she like yells at her, she just instantly hacks into her Instagram by saying, please tell me you're that, you're that stupid or you're that dumb, signs into it and then says more like Veronica. So what a bitch, like Sierra is not a nice person. She's not a nice character and she's just kind of one of those people that she has no redeeming qualities, but they're trying to make her seem like a good person just because she's not conventionally attractive and that's not okay. But luckily after Veronica realizes what happened, she goes right up to Sierra and says, you know what, you really are ugly and it has nothing to do with how you look. And that was the most honest truth that I'd heard the entire movie. And I was like, yes, this is a bitch. I don't know why I'm doing that. That's the most annoying trick, but yeah. I was like, finally, somebody's gonna stand up for it. And obviously Noah realizes what happens and he's like, both of you stay away from me. But that can't be how the movie ends. It can never be how the movie ends. So she starts having all of these conversations with her parents and talking about how hard it is to not be conventionally attractive, which yeah, I'm not denying that, but it doesn't change the fact that you did a terrible thing and that you're genuinely a ter terrible person and you were just really rude to somebody who did nothing but try to help you a lot. And then she makes this like grand statement about how she feels like the entire world is conspiring against you, but like, no, the world is not conspiring against you. You did something terrible. Yes. Did he text you at random by mistake against your knowledge? Absolutely. Did you make the situation worse? 100%. You caused your own problems. The world is not conspiring against you. If anything, the world is conspiring against Veronica, but of course it's not because none of us are that important that the world would be specifically against us. And it is 100% not okay to try to justify catfishing somebody because you're not conventionally attractive and the world isn't fair because of that. Which is essentially what this movie does. I think at the end of the day, this was way more damaging than Insatiable ever could have been for like body positivity and self-love. Insatiable was a disaster. I couldn't even make it through the entire thing, but like this was, this was bad. And I, you could get the vibe that they thought this might've been some kind of like teen classic in the making. No, watch EZA instead. All right, so at this point I'm gonna spoil the ending. So if you somehow wanna watch this movie or don't wanna know how it ends, this would be the time to click off. So, you know, it gets down to the end of it and the entire movie, she is supposed to be writing this poem for a class, but because her dad's like this really successful writer, she doesn't feel like she wants to do it. So she skips it. And then at the end, she decides to make a song instead. And the teacher tells her that it's so inspiring and she's such a smart person. And everybody around her says that she's just this super talented, inspired, person. That's like the thing it keeps bringing up. Like all these different people just keep telling her about how amazing she is because she's good at stuff. Not taking into the fact that she has the worst character of all. But yeah, either way, she makes this song, sends it to Veronica. So Veronica forgives her. Then Noah gets it and he forgives her. And then by the end of it, you get the very romantic, like, you know, you might not be everybody's type, but you're exactly my type. And it all works out in the end because we're gonna make a movie that says that it's okay to catfish somebody because the world's standards are unfair. Fuck off. And by the end of it, I totally agree with Veronica. She had it right in that moment. Sierra is ugly because of what's inside. And that's why she's a loser. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today's video. I would recommend not watching the movie. I thought it was really bad and, um, Netflix has got to chill a bit. You know, they had a bunch of hits 
they had a bunch of stuff that was doing really well for them. And then they either drag it out too long without a good story or they just make crap. And lately it's been a lot of crap. So uh, let me know what you guys thought of it, I guess, down below. I thought it was super problematic and uh, just not great. But yeah, that was gonna do for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and we'll catch you all later. Catfishing is never okay. Don't do